Okay. Welcome back guys to Cheap Tool Reviews, the channel that reviews the cheapest tools from eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, you name it, we'll review it. So I wanna, first of all, I wanna say thank you to all the support we have so far and all the uh, the viewers that we've been getting on, the, the, the returning loyal viewers. Um, again, the lighting is a little bit different today because we, we left our normal light at home, but we got a bunch of work lights actually set up in here to to compensate for what we, no what we normally use. And we actually have the phone light on too of the camera. So let me know if you guys think this lighting is actually better than our old lighting. If it is, I mean, I guess we'll just ch recharge these things every day until we use them. And I mean, anything to produce some good quality content for you guys. It's kind of hard for me to direct on that camera right there. But so let's get started. Uh, again, guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know what tools that you guys want us to review in the comments and we'll do our best to review it. So we're gonna get started. This tool right here, actually, I know what's in here, guys. So let me let me pull it in here. I myself didn't, didn't buy these. Um, thankfully, uh, someone that I know let me borrow the tools. And I'm not gonna say his name because I didn't ask him for permission, but uh, he actually let me borrow these tools. And I've actually seen these before on, on eBay, Amazon, all that sort of stuff. It's like a, what is it? A digital torque adapter. So basically you put your normal ratchet on this and then all of a sudden you can, you, you can use it to torque down some things. So I've always been, you know, wasn't sure if these actually work for that kind of thing because I know, I know normal torque wrenches are, you know, calibrated and all that sort of good stuff. So how this works using a regular ratchet, you know, what if you have a ratchet with a longer, you know, a, a longer, uh, I don't know, leverage, you can say, how is that gonna affect the, the reading on this? So we're going to go through, we're going to do some testing on this and we're going to try and torque something down and use maybe a, like a longer, longer ratchet to see if that makes an effect on, on the, on how precise this thing is. And then we'll try and go at it with a normal, you know, style torque wrench and see if this is, you know, really calibrated to that, to that spec. So, uh, he did give me a sticky note that told me the price of all these. And I actually don't know what I did with the sticky note, but Thank goodness for Google. So we looked it up. <clears throat> this one here is $50. This is the half inch. And I'll open it up right now in a minute. But this is the half inch here. Uh, this one is 55 And this is the, the quarter. No, no, no. Not the quarter. The 3 8 um, torque wrench adapter. So I looked it up. So let's open these things up and let's see what, what we're working with here today. So they're, they're shipped fairly nice, you know. This is actually a name brand tool, unlike the tools we've been reviewing in the past that come in boxes that don't match the tool. This one actually is made for this little tool and whatnot. We got, we got the instructions here. Since this isn't my tool, I'm going to read the instruction because if I break it, I'm gonna have to buy them a new one. So my other tools, we're here to test them. So <clears throat> we'll test, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll read the, the manual on my own so you guys don't hear me right here reading this thing. <clears throat> so let's get started with the, uh, with the opening. So that's a nice little, little uh, carrying case. So, you know, I assume if you drop this, it might throw the calibration off. I don't know, I'm not gonna try it, but uh, he also did tell me that he included some adapters. So depending on the, on the ratchet you're using, you know, you could put the adapters on here and, you know, we're actually going to try it out to see if putting an adapter on this will, you know, throw the torque off a little bit and see what, what it's looking like. So let's see, we got, so the AC Delco is the brand. I should have said that in the beginning. This one is AC Delco. ARM6023. This is a 3 8 And the half inch, this one here, is ARM602-4. Reference numbers, if you guys really like these tools, go out and buy them. Again, they're not sponsored. I didn't buy these tools, so I have to return them. Uh, come with, oh, two batteries. So I guess there's no batteries in them. Yep, no batteries. So that's nice that they at least threw in two batteries for you. I assume, you know, for the price that they cost, what was it, 50, about, about 50 bucks for both, not for both, but for each one. A torque wrench, depending on the brand, of course, you know. 
you can get like a Harbor Freight torque wrench. I don't know how exactly perfect those things are, but you know, I, it more goes as to what you're going to really, really use these for. But other, other than that, it's not that bad. So you can see here, this part would go onto your socket. You put that into the bolt and your ratchet would go right in here. And I don't know exactly how to use this, like I said, but we're going to figure it out together. And so I'd assume you turn it on and you just set what your, what the rating that you're trying to use. And we'll see how, how low this thing can go because I know there's some bolts that I have a BMW and I kid you not, that thing uses uh, inch pounds. So you have like a super small torque wrench to, to get those perfectly. At that point, you might as well just, you know, go by hand. I don't think it'd be that precise for it to be that low of a rating, but we'll see if this thing can get, you know, that low. We'll, we'll try that out. Same for, same for this, same packaging. Um, just, this is the half inch, so a little bit bigger, a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit higher torque rating, I, I would assume. Looks like, oh, nice, there's lights here. So maybe when you're getting close to that rating, it'll just light up so you'll know, you know, when to stop. Maybe it even makes sound. I've seen some torque wrenches that, you know, you they're, they're digital. You put what you want and while you're going, it's lighting up beep, beep, beep. And it tells you, you know, that that's enough before you you go over that. But same kind with two batteries. Um, but, you know, let's get started with this review. Uh, we'll go outside, see how this thing does and see if these are worth it. I think you can get like a generic brand of these. I don't know how perfect those would work, but on eBay, I've seen them like 30 bucks. I don't know if you want to spend the money on that kind of tool because if you're going to use something that needs, you know, torque to a certain range, it's going to be something that, you know, needs to be torqued to that so it doesn't get loose or damage anything. So maybe in that sense, it might be worth the extra money just to to buy something a little bit, you know, better and name brand. So let's go outside, guys. Let's get these things uh, reviewed and see if they're any good. All right, guys. So here we are outside with the good workbench that we've been using on every video it's been it's been good to us it hasn't destroyed on them using some tool on here yet but here we are back outside in the sunny california weather so last video as you guys know we were inside because it was raining that day but i don't know if you guys ever noticed but in some of the videos that we're out here doing the you know test review there's been a bunch of cats walking around and sometimes you'll you'll catch me trying to like shoo them off without me disrupting the video but you know maybe i'll look at that beautiful you don't know what's going on now. Oh, see, here they are. Here they are messing with all the camera stuff, but it's all right. We're going to start anyway. So I had brought the instructions out here so I could figure out how to put the batteries in these things. It was a little confusing, but we got that situated. Um, so we got our bolt here that we're going to... No, 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 no. That we're going to do some torque ratings on this. So I got a regular torque wrench out here, and I brought this ratchet which we're gonna see if that affects the the reading on the on it so we'll probably start like like on the close on the the shortest setting work our way out and see if that makes a difference on how the the rating on that is and then once we get to it then we'll torque it down with the torque wrench so we'll do first like a digital one and then put it up against this to see if it's reading correctly and then we'll torque it down with the torque wrench and see if it passes it considering it's the same same range so that's how i figured we're gonna we're gonna do this so let's get started let me just i kind of tighten this on here already so let me just okay it's nice and loose so i read the instructions and it's still kind of difficult so we're gonna get through this together guys so let's see we're gonna start with the half inch what should we set it at let's say maybe 30 pounds we're at about to get to 40 Oh, whoa, 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 started zooming now. Okay. Look, so you guys can see, you guys can get like, you guys can get 39 and a half if you guys needed, depending on what, what you want. So, oh gosh, what happened? No. Okay, hold on guys, let's start over. Oh, no, 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 29. 30, that's what we're gonna test it at guys. Then you, I, you hold it just to set it in place. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, that's it. Once you once it's blinking, you're good to go. So let's get this started with uh, 30 foot pounds that we're gonna we're gonna try it on. We 
Well, I guess the thing's gonna take the whole her t the whole turn with this. So I guess when you get close to it, maybe you might want to bring it up so you can actually look at what you're doing. Oh, was the lights working? Oh, it does work. They're all blue, guys. So this not doesn't go by level. So. We're there, we're there, guys. It's like right there. It's a little over, a little under, but it, it's close. So now that we're at 30, we might as well do the test. Let's see if we put this at maybe about halfway. See if that makes a difference on that. Oh, it's still pretty. We'll stick it out all the way now. Oh, wow, that's pretty impressive, guys. It's, it's still dead on. 30 foot pounds, that's not bad at all. All right, so now that we have that at 30 foot pounds, let me set this torque wrench to that and see if it passes the torque the 30 foot pounds and if not we'll try to loosen it and see if that still reads uh reads 30. oh it's pretty dead on it's saying so let's try to loosen it so it looks like i don't know if that works the same way i just did it but i assume it would work if i tried to loosen at 30 foot pounds it would it would have clicked if it was past that but, okay, so since we did that test, now we're gonna, I'm gonna tighten this with this and see if this still reads the exact same that this is gonna read. So we'll, we'll crank it up to, we'll do like 50. So we'll torque it down with this and then we'll do the reading with the, with the digital thing. All right, so there's 50. So since we're at 50, we'll set this to 50 now. So that's the only thing that kind of takes a little bit of time. You just hold it and it goes one by one. Oh, whoa. Unless you hold it for too long, apparently it just starts jumping by 10. So we're going to try this one out with some adapters and see if that, the, the little play that it might get with the adapter will, you know, kind of throw it off a little bit. So let me set this real quick, guys. 50 foot pounds. So we're going to throw adapter on this. And another adapter on this side with the ratchet. So you can see our little uh, setup here. We got socket, adapter, actual torque uh, adapter or torque, digital torque, another adapter and the actual ratchet. So let's see if that affects it at the 50 foot pound range. I'm not going to, I'm going to consider that still pretty dead on with all these adapters on there. So it's not bad. So I'd, I'd like to test this and, you know, reverse. I'm scared to break it, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to break it. So. Camera guy's telling me to do it. He don't care because he's not going to be the one paying for it. So I'm not going to do it, but let's see. We're going to torque this down again and we'll do something super low. We'll do it with the lowest that this torque wrench can go. And then we'll set that to the same thing. But well, let's see if this at uh, 10 pounds, there's 10 pounds already. We're gonna set one of these to 10 pounds and see if it'll read 10 pounds. From right here, it says the rating is four foot pounds to 147.6 foot pounds. So you got a lot, a, a big range there. This a, a regular torque wrench, which is this one here, does 10 foot pounds to 80 foot pounds of course depending on the brand that you get you know you can get a bigger one and it'll it'll do more than that but this is all we got for right now that's my other torque wrench at home so we got that set to 10 foot pounds we're gonna see if this will read at 10 foot pounds all right there we are 10 foot pounds so we'll put the adapters back on this and go for 10 foot pounds So I, I assume I'm, I'm going to blame this on this torque wrench here. It's, it's rating right when it started reading, it's, it's marked at 14 foot pounds. So it does. That's one thing that, that, that I like about it so far. When you stop applying pressure, it tells you where you stop. So when I, when I started applying pressure and, and I put it on and then I stopped, it stopped at 14. So I know that I'm past 10 foot pounds. So 
I'm not going to blame it on this tool, honestly. I'm going to blame it on this torque wrench that the 10 foot pounds is not accurate because this is a Harbor Freight torque wrench. So I'm just going to blame it on that. And this is an actual AC Delco. It's a good brand. So this, I'm going to say this is more accurate right now, but let's see what the bigger one reads. If we mark it at 10 foot pounds and see if it's still the same. So if these two are accurate with each other, if they're still saying around the same, I'm going to go with the torque wrench is a little off, which would probably be the best bet to say. Okay, so this one can't do 10. The lowest I could do is 14.7, which is what that one was at. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so this one's reading at 16. And it, it could be because, you know, I, I use all these adapters on this smaller one. This one wasn't using any adapter. It was straight on the socket, straight to the ratchet. So, you know, it could be a little variable bef between these two. 14 and 16 is closer than 10 and 14 if you think about it. So I'm going to say these two are pretty, pretty dead on versus this torque wrench here. And I guess it doesn't really matter depending on the... The size ratchet you have because this one extends up to 18 inches and even fully extended it was still dead on so i'm going to consider those a good investment tool honestly if you don't want to spend your money on a torque wrench if you spend your money on just one of these this this bigger one can pass the rating of this torque wrench so for 50 bucks honestly that's it's a good a good price so i think we're going to wrap up the testing here we're going to go inside and we're going to do the final thoughts on these tools and let you guys know if you guys should get them and see what you guys think about it guys so let's go back inside all right guys so this is where we're gonna wrap it up i'm not gonna make it any longer than this video already is because i know we were outside for 13 minutes so uh we're gonna wrap it up here guys the tool is worth it honestly for the 50 dollar mark i know normally we do cheap tools but honestly the price of this tool for 50 dollars it's not bad at all a generic branded one is oh my sorry if you guys hear him purring in there guys uh a generic one is 30 bucks you spend the extra twenty dollars for the, you know, you you know, yeah. Sorry guys, you know it'll be accurate to what you need. So we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. This cat is very amazed by this mic. I apologize if you guys hear that. Um, he's he's burning. He likes it. But uh, maybe we'll have him on our videos more. You guys, let me know what you guys think. If we should have him on our videos. So thank you very much, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.